G'day frothers, here we are again back at the bench and today I have a slammer drill, whatever the hell that is. So the works slammer drill, uh, I have no other experience with works, I believe they're made by Positech and uh, yeah I've never, never really used their tools before. Um, this one is in memory of Juan Carlos Rodriguez, so I'll have to find out what that's all about, but uh, anyway, um, they are basically going for a drill, a hammer drill, which can get through concrete better. That's that's the, the, the idea with this one. This drill came in this nice little lunchbox here, cost me about 300 clams, uh, Australian of course, and they claim new impact technology for exceptionally high performance. Uh, so anyway, we will give it a shot. So in the lunchbox, it came with a few bits, eight millimeter drill bit, uh, a couple of batteries and a charger. So not too bad for 300 bucks. And uh, yeah, the little thingy was broken off. So they gave me a couple of box, bucks off at the store. So it came with a eight millimeter drill bit, which is the perfect size for doing all these little wall plugs, which is gonna be you know, a very common task for a hammer drill. And uh, <clears throat> Let's take a look. It feels just like a standard, you know, 13 millimeter or half inch kind of hammer drill. Um, it's not too bad. Like I'm not familiar with this brand. Uh, it is made by Positech and I don't know that I've ever had any Positech tools before. So uh, I, I gather they're a kind of DIY grade brand, you know, not quite as, uh, not quite as good as your, your Makita or your Bosch or whatever. Um, but, you know, it's not a bad little unit. I'm not crazy about the colors, but hey, uh, what can you do? The handle's not too bad. It's nicely rubberized. Nice little rubber patch up there for pressing down on the top when you're hammer drilling. Uh, it is a little bit narrow. Uh, I find that, you know, if I if I don't like a handle, it's because it's not quite fat enough. It's, you know, I guess I'm just... I'm used to holding fatter things. It's more comfortable for my hand. And, um, yeah, it's not too bad. Little two amp hour battery. Hey, it's fine. Nothing to write home about. Uh, it does look pretty thin around here. There's not much meat and you can actually see right through that. So I think if you drop this a few times, that'd break off pretty easily. Unlike say the Milwaukee, the foot on that is monstrous compared to this little thing. Uh, as a consequence, it won't stand up. So it kind of looks a little funny without the battery on, but you know, that's all good. No problem there. It does obviously have a fair bit more going on in here than your standard hammer drill. Uh, in fact, you can see back here, that is the back of the brushless motor right there. Might even be able to see a little bit of coil just in that slot there. And then you can see the fan, which is at the front of the brushless motor is here. So that right there, that's where your motor is. All the rest is presumably hammer mechanism. I'm not sure what kind of hammer it is, but uh, I'm kind of hoping it's a bit of a pneumatic hammer, um, like in your in your rotary hammer drills. Anyway, they have that cool little, you know, Mjolnir sort of symbol there, bit of lightning on it, and uh, three modes. Slammer drill, pretty cool. So it's two mode, other than that, it's pretty, pretty much just a bog standard uh, uh, cordless hammer drill, you know. It's got a low mode, and a high mode, nice and responsive. Motor stops instantly, uh, which is probably bad for the chuck undoing, but anyway, that's how they want to run it. The chuck itself, uh, being the kind of drill it is, you really want to have a decent chuck, and the chuck's got a decent click to it. A couple of really good clicks on there. I assume I'm not breaking it, and that's actually what you're meant to do. So when your drill bit binds up in there, if it, you know, you're drilling into concrete or whatever and it gets stuck, like you've got to have a really good grip on that because that's a smooth shanked drill bit. You know, how's it gonna grab that? Unlike our beloved uh, SDS drill bits, which have all the, the keyways and actually slide up and down. This one is just any normal three jaw chuck. And in fact, it seems to have a slightly, yeah, you can't really see it, but. Uh, slightly different screw in the back there because to get a proper hammer with this, you've got to stick it all the way in, making sure it's fully in. 
because otherwise you're just relying on the jaws holding this uh, to do the actual impacting. So you really want to have it all the way in and it does seem to have a little bit of a different screw at the bottom there. And as you can see, it does leave a bit of a mark on the very end of that drill bit there too. So it kind of is hitting the drill bit a little bit like a rotary hammer, but it's also holding it. So, so your standard kind of hammer drills, they really just vibrate back and forth. They don't really have much hammering uh, force. And that's all right for you know some of the softer, weaker, more brittle materials. Whereas this thing, Sure sounds a lot more like a rotary hammer. Anyway, uh, why don't we just see how she goes? So anyway, like I said, it came with an eight millimeter drill bit. So I went out the backyard uh, and I grabbed a bunch of different materials. So let's start with our standard, uh, you know, we call that a better brick here in Australia, but you know, uh, cinder block, breeze block, you know, one of those big, big hollow uh, formed concrete uh, things with aggregate made of coal ash in there. So pretty soft. That should be bread and butter for this this kind of drill. So uh, let's see how she goes. All right, and as predicted, no trouble there. Uh, so that sort of brick is exactly what hammer drills are designed for. Uh, so let's try another kind of hollow block. This one is a baked clay. All right, and uh, yeah, no problems there. Once again, that, that material's kind of bread and butter for the, you know normal hammer drill, not much of a challenge. Uh, let's just try a normal sort of three hole house brick as well. And once again, no problems, pretty much the same. Uh, let's try a concrete brick, and this one, it's still not as not as dense as full proper poured concrete, but it does have a bit better aggregate in there, some kind of stone aggregate, so let's take a look at that. Yeah, okay, so starting to work a little bit harder. Still got through it all right, but you could kind of feel when it encountered a bit of aggregate, uh, you know, she did slow down a little bit. And so what do, what do I mean by aggregate even? Uh, well, uh, rocks basically. So concrete, your normal concrete is actually oh, half, more than half by volume. Uh, rocks, and when you drill through concrete, you can feel it uh, with one of these drills especially, you can feel the drill slowing down when it encounters these bits of aggregate. So, so that concrete brick did have a bit of aggregate in there. I'm not sure what type, I'm not sure where that thing was made. So let's try uh, a bit of normal concrete. So um, this, this one's a bit old, it'll be pretty tough. So let's take a look. Right, so the old concrete, um, yeah, she kind of struggled with that. Once again, it seemed to be all about the aggregate because it would drill in just like butter and then hit, a, I guess, a rock. Nice little hit one of these bastards and then it would slow right down. And um, because this thing's revving pretty fast, 
and it's not really hammering um, as hard as a, a rotary hammer would, it kind of started heating up the bits. And uh, yeah, so I, I put some water on there to see if I could cool it down, wash it out a little bit. And uh, yeah, during that, I noticed the, the chuck was getting pretty hot as well. So this whole front mechanism especially, motor will always get hot, but you know, I really noticed this metal part especially getting pretty warm. So um, yeah, it didn't, didn't handle that super well. It might, it might help if you're able to sort of try a few different spots, but uh, really, I don't know, maybe persevere, maybe bring a bit of water um, if you've got some really hard aggregate where you are. Why don't we try uh, a bit of sandstone? Oh wow, okay, so this local sandstone that we have around southeast Queensland here, it's usually really soft and that was nothing for this drill. Uh, it in fact, it seemed to sort of just pulverize, turn into a powder, gum up the, uh, gum up the drill bit a little bit there. Uh, but anyway, she handled that just great. And lastly, now this is a real challenge. Uh, so this is going to be a bit of granite. Uh, as you may have seen in some of my other videos, I'm a big fan of drilling granite because it's a nice um, readily available material in lots of places around the world, but also I'm a rock climber. So I want to know, can I use this for bolting, bolting rock climbs? Can I install safety bolts 100 meters up a cliff with, with this thing? Because it's nice and light, a fair bit lighter than most rotary hammers. So, you know, if that works, uh, that'd be awesome. Anyway, let's check it out. And nah, not really. I mean, she got in, she got in about that much, you know, half an inch or so, uh, and then kind of stopped. I'm not really sure why that would happen because the drill bit didn't seem to be wearing out. Maybe it was just getting too hot. The hammer mechanism sort of stopped working. Um, but yeah, really interesting that it would, it would dr drill in and then kind of slow down. But let me check the drill bit. Yeah, so this is the drill bit I used. It seems like it's still in pretty good nick. It wasn't really, wasn't really blunted in spite of all the friction that was going on there. So it must just be something uh, about the drill that when it, uh, when, when, it, when it heats up, it sort of just, you know, stops working as well. But you know, that's all good. It's, it's, it's fine. Like I think it says on the box, it does handle concrete a bit better, but maybe you just want to have a bit of water around to cool the drill bit off. Anyway, I, you know, I think if you've got to go to that level of thinking, you're better off not using one of these. You're better off using a proper rotary hammer. Um, but, you know, anyway, it's worth a try. Not a bad little tool. Seems like a totally adequate, uh, you know, 13 millimeter or half inch uh, combi drill, you know, hammer drill. But, um, is it is it living up to the whole slammer drill thing? I don't know. I mean, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, I like it, but I just wouldn't use it for concrete, you know. Anyway, scratches later.